I gave all yous 365 days of my life, a year of my life. I gave yous everything and yous just kept taking and taking and taking. Yous took my passion, yous took my drive, but it's simply ICW. I quit! I quit! Okay, you wanna quit? You wanna walk away? Well, it's gonna be on my doing. It's gonna be in my hands. In that one on one match that I wanted with you, I wanted it in the garage. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you something, guys. You wanna quit? I'm gonna make you quit. Ah. You don't get to just quit and leave. You're under contract to Insane Championship Wrestling. And if you try to breach that contract, well, I'll get the lawyers involved. I'll tie you up in so much red tape, so much litigation, it'll make your head fucking spin. You're in action. Next week, you report to work, but not here in the asylum like everyone else is wrestling on the show. We report to the garage because we're going to have ourselves an empty arena match. It's going to be Kez Evans versus Craig Anthony. I quit match. Oh yes, James, it's 2023. ICW Fight Club is back. What a night of action we have got for you. We will have Aaron Echo in action with Chris Bunga. This match was meant to be having a fear and loathing, but we are bringing it to you tonight. The ICW Zero G Championship is also on the line. Dylan Thorne challenges the savior, Neil Doros. And get this, right here on Fight Club, the grudge match going all the way back, years in the making. It's going to be Kez Evans taking on Craig Anthony. And we're just getting started. It's 2023. Let's get it rocking. It's Fight Club. Go on, get a wee kiss. again but we have it confirmed Craig Anthony and Kez Evans will face one more time tonight at the garage and an empty arena I quit match over a year ago these two men fought all over the Barrowlands in a battle that saw Craig Anthony put out of action for over a year with a severely broken arm I can't even begin to think what these two will do to each other tonight no matter what happens I just hope these two can finally end this war before they kill one another. We are waiting for Aaron Echo to enter in the building. Here he is. Welcome. Listen, your match against Chris Bungar tonight. We've all been waiting for it. Do you have any words to say ahead of the match? I guess not. Wants to stay focused um, on the match ahead. Listen, we're all looking forward to this. Stay tuned. You'll see it tonight. We're all waiting for it. The following contest has a 20 minute time limit and is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. Debut um, time. Yes, very excited to see a new tag team in action. Two of my boys from Ayrshire as well, so I'm very excited about this. From the homeland, it's Arcade Violence. Making their way into the ring. From Night City, they're the team of Jake Lawless and A.C. Anderson. This is Arcade Violence! 
that have tried these young men train together, making their debut in ICW only 560 days from stepping into the ring for the very first time. Their partnership started as a business arrangement. They decided to team up, we become mutually beneficial, and they developed a strong chemistry, a friendship, into a successful tag team combo that attracted the attention of the matchmakers here in ICW, bringing their debut tonight on Fight Club. Jake Lawless, AC Anderson, here in ICW for the very first time. What kind of impact are these two young men going to make? Yeah, they're going to build a legacy as a career and tag team. And speaking of two men who made an impact, well, formerly of Thatcher's cabinet. It's a completely different era for Skinner and Vice. Making their way to the ring, they are the team of Charlie Vice and Ian Skinner. Skinner and Charles Vice, who completed the definitive divorce, if you like, with Thatcher's cabinet. After Thatcher was, uh, well, dare I suggest, didn't get quite the big win he was looking for. Appearing and loaded, blaming it on these two, and they super kicked the shit out of him. Ian Skinner, Charlie Vice, are they about to fly on their own, or are they about to crash and burn without the comfort of Thatcher Rice's? Thatcher writes warm embrace. Well, about that? people including me... Even had that written down. Ah, well done. People still made an arse of it. Still a complete arse of it, never mind. That rounded, though. But what you want to know is that people were... Well, they were disingenuous, they thought, when they... There was that brief divorce with Thatcher's cabinet over the summer. But this is it, definitive. Thatcher has said publicly he is having nothing to do with these two. I can't believe it. I mean... What happened? Thatcher's cabinet were, were a blessing on Insane Championship Wrestling, and, and now this. But anyway, arcade violence. Looking How to is that off your account? I was going to ask you about that. Things going well? No comment. Moving swiftly on. You're filling no one, James. Jake Lawless having his way with Charlie Vice. I've seen the mural you've got painted in your garage wall. I know what's going on. There we go, wrist lock there. This is Jake Lawless in the ring. Now these four men do know each other very well. I, I've always been impressed by, I've always been impressed by Skinner and Charles Vice as a tag team. They put in the time, they developed that chemistry. And I believe it's only a matter of time before they will wear tag team gold. Could be. But will they be able to shake off, well did I suggest, will they be able to shake off their old attitudes? Look at that, there was a... A fine example of what Ian Skinner and Charlie Vice bring to the table as a combo. Ian Skinner, the British psycho. Oh, big forearm Whoa. rattles Jake Lawless. And a big drop kick right to the side of the head. There's a knee trembler for sure from Charlie Vice. Hooks one, that inside two, leg. Drags him out, hooks the leg. It's not an easy Anderson can do apart from watch. No, Anderson's stranded on that ring apron. And you know something, this team of uh, arcade violence they have been trained by some of the very best. Wolfgang, Jack Jester, Kez Evans, BT Gun, no slouches. Think about what all those men have achieved here in Insane Championship Wrestling. And look at this now from Ian Skinner, one hell of a technical wrestler between those ropes, but Jake Lawless showing a lot of grit and determination. Certainly is, showing great ring composure there, grabbing that middle rope. But kick ass Ian Skinner, the British cycle, call me every well. Oh, just kicking up the sternum, trying to stop the heart of Jake Lawless. Now just rolls Lawless One, over for the two. cover. And they've cut off the ring perfectly, making sure AC Anderson from Presswick by way of Berlin, Germany. Look at the size of this big in. Ian Skinner about to take all that. Oh, small package. One, two. Uh oh. Look at that now, he's finding himself over in the corner, grabbing the tights. Interesting tactics there from Tag Anderson. made. Here comes big AC Anderson. Look at this, making it seem easy. Oh, look at this. Wow. Yeah, no doubt that Arcade Violence have the size advantage in this match. Using One, it to great effect. Two. Almost getting the job done. Now, Billy, for Ian Skinner, Charlie Vice lose here. There's no going crying to Uncle Thatch. Look at the highs of this big... Psychopath, look at him. I mean, Skinner knows a thing or two about being a psycho himself. There we go, quite tag though, showing great ring IQ. Got himself rattled a little bit, made the tag team 
Mid the, the tag straight away, I should say. Yes, Here comes Charles Vice. Oh, they put the brakes on, but they've taken their eyes off Skinner, though there was a tag. Vice had a contingency plan. Punt right to the chest. No! Oh, but he took his eyes off Lawless. Jake Lawless, AC Anderson looking to turn some heads in their debut match here in Insane Championship Wrestling. I think what a win would do to the ca careers of these oh, young men. Big headbutt, this Lawless, double tufts on the smugglers trail. There isn't much he will do, he won't do, to get uh, the winner's purse. Charlie Vice wants back in this match in a hurry, but... Do you know Lawless was telling me, you got a little flash of that gold tooth in his head. Apparently it's made of stolen gold. Oh, do you know that? I quite believe it. Whoa! Belly to belly, spinning Two. into the cover. I don't even want to know how he lost the real tooth. I, like, I, I really don't want to know. Well, that's a story for the grandkids someday. Who's grandkids? God just wants to scare someone else's. AC Anderson just pushing Ian Skinner back oh, into our trouble violence in corner. Look at these two. Big AC Anderson towering over him. Here comes Lawless. Oh, nails and Bravo slingshot elbow. Point of the elbow as well, right One, to the sternum. Two. Gets a two count on it, and Charlie I've Vice got, like trying to this. get involved. Arcade Violence have now dialed in. Yeah, they're in the groove, they're feeling it. And Skinner and Vice, they, they could tell Arcade Violence a thing or two about just how much a couple of wins under your belt here in ICW means. Quick tag. Nails him with a big hooking lariat. Nails it with a double axe handle. One, two. By way of Berlin, Germany, he almost stopped the heart of Ian Skinner. Ian Skinner still kicking though. Charlie Vice trying to get the people into Skinner and Vice's corner. Look at that, just ragdolled him over, controlling the upper torso. AC Anderson straight out, waiting for the tag there. They're keeping him close over to the corner and just wailing away is Jake Lawless. You have the people in their corner, but I think Charlie Vice would rather have Ian Skinner in his corner. No tag, I don't know if Skinner clocked it. No, he didn't. Great fundamental tag team wrestling from Arcade Violence. Phil Nelson. Lawless from the oh! top row, overshot it, nailed his partner with an elbow. Commentator's curse. A bit of miscommunication costing Arcade Violence. I don't know, but just as Ian Skinner saw his partner on the right side apron, blind tag. It's this now, big back body drop. Oh, and there's oh. A, a big boot for Charlie Vice big as well. Boot, hammered him right in the nose. Sends Vice off the ring apron in this match. Starting to break down. Out. Oh, look at this. Look at this, James. Referee losing control and arcade violence. This is what you have to do. Show this aggression. The type of tactics that did I suggest Vice and Skinner would have employed not too long ago. No doubt about it. Maybe that's why they're so hot. They, uh, they would rather be doing this themselves. They are attractive men. Oh, I see what you mean. And Lawless from the top. Oh. Right to the top of Skinner's head. Smack One, bang in the middle two. of the ring. Lawless and Lawless and Anderson have looked very good. Very good. Very Once impressive. they dialed in the early flurry from Skinner and Vice, really, they weren't able, able to get a beat on them. Now, none of this would be happening if Skinner and Vice were under the tutelage of one Thatcher Wright. But they're not. So let's blame Thatcher Wright for that, shall we? for being one, a Tory, and two. Well, I can't say that one on the, on the WWE now, they won't let me anymore. That's that, your right. that one there, I'll write it down, that one. Oh God, no need for that. Can't kind of quite of you read it out. Nah, down, no you won't, you don't yeah. need the money, do you? Down goes Ian Skinner, as lawless. 20 quid. 30 and you're on. Oh, oh one elbow. I have that kind of money, what are you talking about? And oh. another one from Jake Lawless. 24. Ian Skinner in real trouble here, Billy. Needs to make a tag. Sharing a smile. But Wait, Arcade really? Violence took way too long, got wailed with a shot, almost a hard punch. Why does everything I say not come true? What's going on here? She'll come back one day, James, I'm sure. Oh, you weren't talking about that, never mind. Big Finally Marriott makes the tag. By the former party animal in more ways than one. Maybe the a savior, reborn party animal. The saviour of Stranra, Charles Vice. Oh! oh. Kick right to the shoulder. AC coming in to try and control. Uh oh, that's a long way down for Charlie Vice. Took way too long. Managed to get out of it though. Charges in, now taking out both members. Yeah, AC Anderson just getting flipped straight to the outside after missed time in that big boot. Suddenly all going wrong for Arcade Violence. Double knees. 
Ian Skinner shouting encouragement to his partner. Directing oh! traffic and oh, I don't know who uh, got the worst of that one. I think both of them did, but Charles Vice is back in his feet. Adrenaline flowing for Charlie Vice. I get a feeling on some level they needed this. They needed to stand on their own. And now has Jake Lawless ripe for the pickings. There's the tag in. Skinner back in, the legal man. What's this now? Oh, oh, God, forget about it. Popped him with it. Party's over. One, One two, two, no. AC Anderson at the last possible second. Very impressive, showing great toughness. Saving the match for arcade violence during their ICW debut. The Gladiator misses, taking out both knees. And the big AC Anderson rocked him with that super kick into the forearm. Targeting the head. The same thing that took out Thatcher. Thatcher right, remember him? Oh. Leave poor Thatcher Look at alone. Ian Skinner, just the kinetic, explosive energy, can't wait. Well, talk about right for the pickings. Oh! oh. <laughs> One, there is no two, way. No 300. Way. They're back. Here are your winners, Charlie Vice and Ian Skinner. That's a big win for Skinner and Vice, Billy. Huge win as they enter this new era of their careers out of Thatcher's cabinet, but in the winning column here tonight on Fight Club, Charlie Vice, Ian Skinner. Well, I'm delighted to see you. Ian Skinner inviting me over for dinner this afternoon, me and my family. What a roast he cooked, what a roast. Where was my invite? Well, you don't really have that kind of relationship with it. Oh, I don't have any friends, is that what Oh, no, I don't see that. Come on, meet this one there, meet Phil there. All right, fans, we've still got so much more still to come on ICW Fight Club. It's always white hot after fear and loathing as we are heading into the square goal. When you walk into the mean streets of Glasgow, when you go into that bar that has that rep, there's always that one guy that even the biggest and baddest are scared of, and that is that man right there, Aaron Echo. A loaded gun for hire. Aaron Echo finally throws down that steel chair, but still wants to fight anyone who'll come near him. This guy isn't one of your guys that you're fighting in pub brawls. This is a trained professional fighter. Not only is he moving into the world of professional wrestling, but he's still an active professional fighter. And if you want the money match, Naren Echo, you're up next. And if you think you've got what it takes to beat this guy, then I, I hope, I hope you know what you've let yourself in for. Aaron Echo, you're fucked. You have no choice. The black's fighting the pain. Oh, that leg has to be in tatters. He's managing to fight it over oh, the Oh, reverses pressure. the pressure. It puts pressure on both men, James, but it's more on Doros. Oh, and now it's Theodoros who's trying his best to get to that bottom rope and escape no, 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 and climb out of the ring back anything. Over. That torn, that would have caused more pressure, more pain. Does oh, 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 oh. so close to tapping it off. He, oh, he taps now. Doris had the rope. Doris had the rope. Because that's what I am. I am the big game player. The Cristiano Ronaldo, the Tom Brady, the LeBron James. When it matters, I get it done. Last year, I promised to save ICW from anarchy. And I did that. And this year, exactly one year to the day, I promised to save the Zero G division from all the flips, all the nonsense, all the garbage. And I've done it again. 
see Veronica. Now the Zero G division is the land of wrestling, of grappling. And every single person in this division better watch. I took the poster boy, ground him and made him tap. And that, that is what is in store for anyone who steps in the ring with ICW's savior. Trying to stop with a manifesto. Didn't work. Smashed the chair right into his hand. Let's look it. Symbol has no impact on Dylan Thorne these days. Come on, Dylan. Right to the face. And ADM down. So is Dylan Thorne, mind we you. We go again, we go again. Both men on the canvas. ADM not even moving. Well, now he moves a hand. And there's going to be no help. There's going to be no one coming out, running, catching him. Seven. Can one or both of these men get to their feet just in time? Oh. Dylan's up! Dylan's up! He got it! Last man standing. And that is part one complete. Part two is getting completed in the asylum. See, this all started again at Shug's house party. When ADM turned his back on me and put his knee into my back. But some people might have forgot that that night I lost the Zero G Championship. ADM, as far as I'm concerned, is in my past. And congratulations, Theodoro Shum now in my direct future. The following contest is for the ICW Zero G Championship. Introducing first. Okay, Dylan Thorne has made it clear he wants to right a wrong in the Zero G division after he has closed a chapter in two years of his life. Tonight, everything could be changed for the pure beauty of Dylan Thorne. Dylan Thorne, of course, held the Zero G Championship for 160 days. In 2022, as you see, Billy coming off that huge last man standing win over manifesto leader ADM. Think what well, a win here tonight. Another win would do for the confidence of this young man. Certainly could. An incredible, incredible night. Dylan Thorne fired up here tonight on Fight Club. and his opponent. All right, fans, here we go. The first official defense from the savior of pro wrestling. The confidence, there's that key word again. Dylan Thorne has it in abundance, but arguably nobody has more confidence right now than the new Zero G champion. Imagine you were just tuning in to buy club for the first time. It'd be an experience, wouldn't it? Well, what I can tell you is Theodoros is an incredible athlete, an incredible pro wrestler. But one of the things he likes more than ever is being an absolute braggart. He likes bragging, rubbing it in people's faces. And this is all part of this disingenuous persona he now presents himself, the savior of pro wrestling. And some level, James, he actually believes it. Well, I think these people here in the asylum will start believing it sooner rather than later because Theodoros, in my opinion, I'm going to go out on a limb here, and this is saying something. Already the greatest Zero G champion we've ever had. He's only going to get better as well. Let's get the introductions by Simon. The following contest has a 30 minute time limit and is scheduled for one fall. 
When the bell rings, the man in charge of the action, referee Chris Quinn. <laughs> Introducing first, standing in the corner to my right, weighing in tonight at 170 pounds from Saltcote, Scotland. He is the challenger. This is Dylan Thaw! Dylan looks ready. Is this his time yet again? What a way to kick off 2023. And his opponent, standing in the corner to my left from Limassol, Cyprus. He is the walking work of art and the self-proclaimed savior of ICW. He is your reigning, defending, insane championship wrestling, Zero G champion, Theo Daro! Theo Daros, his first singles championship. An insane championship wrestling. Well, he doesn't want to kiss that championship goodbye. Not for a long time, if ever. What a difficult defense for him in this first time. Dylan Thorne, part of one of the new icons of that division. After putting the manifesto in his rear view mirror, particularly EDM at a incredibly violent, hugely heated match of fear and loathing. Don't forget fans, you can still check that out on the WWE Network. Well, you could argue that being part of the manifesto helped Dylan Thorne become Zero G champion mm. in the first place. Can Dylan do this all by himself and become ICW Zero G champ yet again? Could happen. Theodora says no way. All right, single leg takedown, wasting no time as Theodora. This is when Doris James is at his best, when he's actually just picking apart an opponent, doing the job that the title calls for. He has all the talents, he has all the abilities, but this, this arrogance that he has is always what seems to be his folly. Oh, look at this, Dylan firing back though. And he's in there with someone that's driven on just pure, pure fury. And even though it was a while ago, that last man standing match at Fear and Loathing was so vicious that you have to believe Dylan can be at 100%. Well, I know that Dylan has been training night and day when this match got announced. Certainly want to be in the best shape that he could be. There's no ladders involved with this one. Beautiful drop kick by the former champion. It's perfectly done. One. And a one count, Theodoros now rolling out of harm's way or trying to. And Dylan Thorne might go for that crown of thorns already. Put Theo down. Looks like it's going to be finished before it's even started, none, oh, oh, taking the leg out. There's that wrestling acumen that Theodoros possesses. And there's just the sheer brutality he also has in his arsenal too. Just clubbing away at Dylan Thorne. Kicks to the gut. Theodoros needs to stay on his man. Although I noticed he's already focusing on that leg, clearly wanted to use that figure for the one in the title. Shocked the world, James. Yeah, it certainly did, but here's the crucial thing. It did not shock Theodoros. He's believed since day one, when he walked through the doors here in Insane Championship Wrestling, that that second word, championship, that would be what was in his future. Fans, we have still got so much more to come for you tonight. We will have, well, we are gonna have a quick recap in just a little while of Kenny Williams versus Levi, that run in for a couple of weeks ago and main event. Oh my goodness, right. Let me break this down for you. We are gonna be heading to the garage. Oh. We have got a live feed that's gonna be taking us there when Craig Anthony will collide with Kez Evans one more time. And we've still to come the grudge match. Nearly four months in the making, James. It's gonna be, well, longer than that, nearly six. It's gonna be Aaron Echo taking on the bad guy, Chris Bungard, right here live in color tonight. That's gonna be vicious, but it's gonna to have to go some to top this. Assault that Theo Dor Doros Look at that is great inflicting. Right in the leg, bending the ankle, working on the knee. This was how he just dissected Daz Black in fear and loathing. Wants to break some bones, wants to break some hearts. 
Theodoros, the self-proclaimed savior of ICW. I think that self-proclaimed bit needs to go, personally. Savior of ICW is what he is. Are you on some... Oh! Oh! You're either on glue or you're on the payroll, I'm not sure. Listen, all I'm saying is every time Doros enters that ring, if I had a betting slip, if I was a betting man, I'd have a slip with tenor and feel written on it. You've never betted in your life. No, I haven't, you're Look right. Look at that punching in the knees, working his way up the body. I don't even know what I'm talking about, to be honest. It just sounded good. Oh! oh that didn't sound good for Dylan Thorne. Straight punt to the ribs, but it's within the rules, the very rules that Theodoros had rewritten in ICW. And there you see it. Dylan Thorne looking up at his saviour. Wee, look at this. Stomping right into the jaw, trying to cave in. The irony of this, Billy, is that it. Dylan Thorne previously was a lost soul who thought he needed a saviour. A saviour like ADM to guide him on the right path. Now he's rid himself well, of the manifesto's poisonous influence and wants to become Zero G champ yet here we, again. Here we are in 2023. It's going to be a question whether or not Dylan Thorne can stand on his own. Oh! It'll be interesting to see if Theodorus can stand at all after going head first into that top turnbuckle and Dylan wants to follow up. Oh, nails him with it! One hell of a suplex, but look at the impact it had on Thorne's left leg. Certainly is the exact same thing happening to Daz Black two. and and Loathing. Even in moments of offense, it would just constantly hurt in that knee. And trust me, Doris has a game plan. Oh, he always does. Always comes prepared. That is why he became Zero G champion in the first place. One of the absolute best we have here in ICW. Oh, and takes out that leg again. And you can hear this roar from Dylan Thorne just in agony right now. Is Straight back to the knee. Theodorus like a pit bull. Just will not let Dylan Thorne recover, oh. even for a half second. Getting an extra separation. Oh, oh, God. Oh, and Dylan Thorne, how much more of this punishment can he take? And I'll tell you this, there's going to be no way he's going to be able to pop out that crown of thorns at 100%. No, no chance. Even if he can manage to get back into a fighting position in this match, because things are looking bleak. Man might not be able to walk, let alone run into that crown of thorns. Theodoros knows that, and Billy, that's what it's all about. That's right. The ICW Zero G Championship. Oh! Just think of the names that have held that title over the years. Joe Coffey, Wolfgang. Some of the greats for Liam sure. Thompson, Leighton Buzzard. And Leighton Buzzard. Now the reigning <laughs> ICW World Heavyweight Champion. Could that be Theodoros, his path, his trajectory here in ICW? Oh, you hear that? I will ground every single high flyer. Well, you've got to believe the man, especially when you see this evidence that's in front of us right now. And Dylan Thorne just scratching and clawing, desperate to cause some separation and maybe recover even for a few seconds. It's always how Theodorus creates a deliberate pace. It's, oh. it's like he lets people burn out. They fly too close to the sun and he just waits. He just waits, he takes the punishment. No one denies how tough that Theodoros is, but what he is is calculating, and it's something that he wasn't a year ago, James. No, it's so true. Theodoros has learned, he's adapted, not only survived, but thrived, and well, I don't think Dylan Thorne's leg is gonna survive he's this onslaught. He's wicked, slot. is what he is. He's wicked, he enjoys causing pain. He causes breaking the soul, if you like, breaking the, the pride, the, the passion that these young men have that he's facing week after week. Wrapping that leg repeatedly around that steel ring post. You can hear the cries of pain from Dylan Thorne. Oh, 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 those cries of pain are about to get worse. It's gonna be a broken leg for sure. Ah. Chris Quinn's gotta do something, he's got a count of five. Oh, but that could be just enough to get it done. Dylan might black out because of could the pain. Pop a kneecap, rip a hamstring. Break some cartilage apart into dust. Dylan Thorne, how does he pick up the pieces of this Zero G Championship challenge? Well, for the last five minutes, he's not been able to pick himself off the canvas, James. Theodoros just absolutely dominant here. Doros has put on a wrestling clinic. Yeah, there are similarities between this 
in the match we saw back at Fear and Loathing 14 with Daz Black, the former champion. All right, looks like he's getting ready to go. Oh, with that one good wheel though. How is Dylan even standing? Don't know how he is, but he is. Oh! oh. Smashed him with the lariat, put everything he could behind him. Pivoting on that one leg. Oh, was that a last resort though? Was that one final desperate attempt from Dylan Thorne, as you can see him hammering this canvas in frustration and agony. Thorne's getting fired up, trying to get back to a vertical base. But that one bad wheel's gonna give out on him. It's an opening for Thorne, it's not much of one, but he has to take it. Trying to kick him right in the knee again, but Thorne was ready. Face first goes the champ. It just completely changes. Oh, wait a minute, we're gonna see it. Oh, I thought it was a big lariat. You're right, James, it looked like he was going for the crown of Thorns, but thought better of it. Maybe he's trying have to get power. The, yeah, he's trying to get the blood back in that knee. Oh, oh had the power for that. One, two, two. no. Oh, and that has to be agonizing in and of itself for Dylan Thorne to see Theodoros kick out. These two men vying for that right there, the prestigious ICW Zero G Championship. Yeah, one of the richest, one of the greatest heritage titles we have here in ICW. Oh, oh popped him. Will that be enough? One, two, two three. Oh. Oh, and Theod Theodorus is getting exasperated now with the referee. The shot from the guards just nailed him with it. And these people won't be helping Doros temperament. Doran's got to stay on him though. They might not be helping Dylan Thorne escape. Another beating at the hands of the saviour. Well, here comes Dylan again. Managed to get him with that one good wheel. It's a big risk. Slapping his own leg. If he can get enough power behind it. Trying to get some blood flowing. Here we go. Oh! Oh, oh that oh. was picture perfect. Over the top, had just enough in it. Will that be enough? Attack from a great height. No, it's still not enough to keep Theodoros down for three. So close, long two, long two. And remember, the ICW Zero G title is on the line. Well, this is Doros' very first defense of that gold and one hell of a match. Dylan Thorne, a former champion in his own right, would love to hold that prestigious championship one more time. Theodoros just using those ropes. Thorne the same though because of that shattered knee. I don't know, it's looking in slightly better shape, could, but can you really, oh. no, 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 he's caught him again. Went for the crown of thorns, I think they're, oh, oh straight back to it again. Any recovery has been oh. brought to a sudden end. Oh, that leg. Well, oh, this is the last tatters. place he wants to be. Well, we've seen this before. Last place he wants to be. Dylan's trying to fight off it, but one bad wheel. There's it no neutralizes way. so much about what you can do in that ring, James. No way to got go. A he's got the ring ropes like he did a fear and loading, and the referee's missed it. Here is your winner by submission, and still, I see you zero G champion. Will let go. See you. Oh, he says he's going to ground the high flyers. We're well, certainly trying to do that. And Dylan Thorne, look at this. This might be broken legs for Thorne. Look at the extra bridge, oh. the pressure behind it. He could pop a hip, he could pop a kneecap. We do something. Theodoros just will not release this figure. Here comes four. Saqib. Saqib Ali, the oh. number one contender for the Zero G Championship. Go on, Saqib. Saving Dylan Thorne, who could have a broken leg. Let's be honest about it. And Theodoros hopes so. A sick attack. Welcome back to ICW Fight Club. With me at this time is Rudo, the management of Chris Bungard. Now, I was um, wanting to speak to Chris Bungard uh, tonight ahead of his match against Aaron Echo, but I do understand he is incredibly in demand. He's a very busy man. Um, do you have any words ahead of the match with Aaron Echo? Do you have any thoughts? Well, yeah, I think you hit the, the nail on the head there, Veronica. Chris Bungard is in demand. And Chris Bungard has been in demand since he joined Rudo Sports and Entertainment brand, since he became my client. He's in demand not only in the wider world, not only in the world of professional wrestling, but in the ICW locker room. Now, everybody wants a piece of Chris Bungard. Everybody wants to step up because they think that they're the guy they're going to be the guy that topples Chris Bungard. And it's not happened yet. 
and it's not going to happen tonight either. You see, Aaron Echo and Chris Bungard, they're both fighters. But one's a professional fighter and one is an unprofessional fighter. So what we have tonight is we have a barroom brawler versus a professional trained mixed martial artist. There's only one winner there. Now, I appreciate you wanted to speak to Chris, but you don't need to speak to Chris. I can tell you now that tonight, Aaron Echo is not going to be strong enough. His tactics aren't going to be deep enough. His fight knowledge isn't going to be rooted enough for him to defeat Chris Bungard. And just like everybody else that's came before him, he's going to fall as well. And then it will be on to the next one because that's what we do here. That's what we've always done. And that's what we will continue to do. Riddle, thank you. Bother on a concussion. Oh, oh might have a busted he's chin. Out. He's out. He's Forget out. about it. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. His emotions. Well, well, hey, 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 hey. Oh, this this is too much. Get someone out here. Get someone out. Here wait, come, wait a minute. Here comes Leighton. The new ICW World Heavyweight Champion has seen enough. We are back here at ICW Fight Club where I am joined by our World Heavyweight Champion, Leighton Buzzard. Leighton, it's so great to see you back. Your celebration got caught short by Kenny. What's going on with that? You know, I don't know what is going on with Kenny Williams. He comes back here. He cuts my victory celebration short and assaults me. Spits this vile black substance in my face, in my eyes. For what reason, I don't know. But as far as I'm concerned, Kenny, you're no worry of mine. Because you see this... If you want a shot at the ICW World Heavyweight Championship, as long as I'm champion, you have to earn it. And there's guys and girls in that locker room who've been busting their asses for the last two years, whilst you've been sitting at home doing fuck all. So you can get to the back of the line. Because all these people, they earned a shot. And as far as I'm concerned, you haven't earned anything. Now, talking of people who are at the front of the line, it's just been announced that you're going to be defending the title against LJ Cleary next week. What is your game plan there? Exactly. You said it there, and that's where my focus is. That's where my attention is. Not Kenny Williams, no. In three weeks' time, I take on one of the very best wrestlers in Europe today, LJ Cleary, also one of the only men to hold a pinfall victory over me in ICW. So that's where my attention is. Because if I go into that match with anything less than 100% focus, it's going to be a rude awakening. Old rivals, go at it again. It's Leighton Buzzard versus LJ Cleary for the ICW World Heavyweight Championship. Coming to you live from the world famous asylum in Glasgow, Scotland, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is your main event of the evening! Um, Introducing first. Big fight feel about this one, Billy. Certainly does. Aaron Echo at fear and loathing Woo shocked the world with his open challenge, taking down one of the biggest and baddest the UK has ever produced and Rampage Brown, and now he swaggers his way. Making a his swagger way to edge with violence. Swing in tonight at 235 pounds from Claybank, Scotland. This is Aaron Echo. Can he be stopped, Billy? That's the million dollar question. You know something, Aaron Echo has bullied, has mangled, has beaten, has bruised everyone he's come into contact with in ICW. This big one-man enforcer, big one-man crime wave, call him whatever you want. We don't know where Aaron went, we don't know how this changed happened, but he came back tougher, he came back more violent, he came with a thirst for just villainy and pain, and he came back to prove that he is the biggest and the baddest 
But can he do that against the bad guy here tonight at Bear and Loathing? He silenced the garage when he beat Rampage Brent. Oh, and the reaction. He silenced it. We were shocked. But we shouldn't have been, James. We talked about this afterwards. We shouldn't have been. Because look at the path of destruction that man has raged through IC Dub. And his opponent. The reaction for Rampage Brown was huge. Just as the reaction for this entrance is going to be massive. Because when this man walks through the curtain, people anticipate sheer violence. Here he is. Making his way to the ring. Being accompanied by Rudo, weighing in tonight at 205 pounds. His professional record includes 16 first round finishes. This is the bad guy, Chris Bunga! Chris Bungard, who's made an incredible transition to the world of pro wrestling. Many people have said it is down to this man. He's going to join us in just a little second. It's going to be Rudolf Lightning. Big match feel. Our first show of 2023. And what a main event we are bringing you. The bad guy versus oh. Aaron Echo. Rudolf, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Any hand sanitizer to shake somebody's hand there? Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> we'll do our best. And look at this already beating down. Oh, it's okay, Rudo. You Tangling might not be here mats. long because these two men beating the hell out of each other already. Hey, they never liked each other, but we've got ourselves a big money main event for Fight Club here. Our first one of 2023. Thomas, bring it in the ring here, man. Aaron Echo, so, so impressive back at Fear and Loathing against Rampage Brown. Of course, Chris Bungard had prior engagements. Always impressive wherever he is. But here now on Fight Club. Well, Bungard's a man in demand in, in a ring or a battleground, whatever the place is, whatever the size is. And look at this. But he wasn't going to leave this business unfinished. And that's why we're in this huge match here in Fight Club. He's two double tough competitors. We don't know where Aaron Echo, what this transition was. But, I mean, this was a guy that sent Sweeney out of pro wrestling. Scary. Listen, Chris Bungard's a professional fighter, OK? I like to describe Aaron Echo as an unprofessional fighter. Good barroom brawler. Yep. This isn't a barroom brawl we're in here. Certainly is. Look at this. The, the quick, busy, educated fist of Chris Bungard just breaking down Aaron Echo. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh big scoop slam. Showing that power that he has as well because Aaron Echo's no small man. No, Aaron Echo, a big guy. Absolutely. And Chris Bungard made him look light as a feather there. Yeah, going from a low base. Oh, oh that's, that's not good for Bungard. Shoulder first into that steel ring post. Clubbing down on him. And this is what Aaron Echo loves to do. To your point, Rudo, it might not be professional, but it's damn sure effective. To a point. To a point. Well, you know, when we talk about barroom fighting, we talk about bar fighting, you know, that's very much in there, get the job done. But what Chris does is he navigates the fight. He's happy to absorb some of this for, for a wee while and he'll come good. And the thing is, the longer the match goes because of the superior conditioning that no doubt Chris Bungard has, and I'm not taking anything away from Aaron Echo, the tougher he gets. Definitely. Oh, oh! Hard into Irish that went, corner. Went rib first into that corner. Oh. Favouring that arm. Bungard, though, still fighting. Oh, oh, here's Larry. It put some extra pop behind it. And another one. A series of them now from Bungard. There's a shoulder block. Takes down Aaron Echo yet again. Oh, oh nails him. Controlled the neck. Full drive. You better wrestling there, eh? A two count. And might transition from the pinfall oh, into listen, something else. That's I, always I the worry. I tell you this now. Every time they get down in the mat, you see a, a look of panic in Aaron Echo. As soon as he feels his back in the canvas, he knows that that is him entering Chris Bungard's domain and he gets the hell out of there to the ropes. Yeah, we're on to these dirty tactics already. Aaron Echo just sending Bungard into the corner by way of the middle rope. Oh, big forearm rocks it. And these two, when no one else would stand up, it would seem to Aaron Echo, Chris Bungard answered the call. These two have been oh. waiting to get their hands on each other for nearly four months. Up and over onto the ring apron goes Aaron Echo, puts on the brakes. Oh, and right. hey, the eyes. Oh, and this is what I'm talking about here, unprofessional fighting. Oh. 
and then attacks that arm again down hard across the top rope. Thomas Cairns keeping a close eye on this. It's not close enough. Rudo perplexed by the strategy of Aaron Echo here, but oh, knee right to the kidneys, the lower back. And you can hear that oh. cry of pain almost from Bungard. Now working his way around the midsection. Oh. Ground and pound tactics from Echo. Thomas Kent, you can see that natural instinct of Chris Bungard to cover up a one one arm's damage. Now grabbing a leg. Oh. Yeah, there's that there's that look, you nice see that, that panic. This is not where Echo wants to be any time. Chris Bungard grabs his leg, his arm. You can see panic to your point, Billy, set in. Yep, because he's not used to guys grabbing his feet when he's fighting them in a pub. It's a fair point. There you go now, once again. Punching into the midsection. Oh, big laddie, it says Bungard down. Looked like a little high. Might have caught him in the throat. Gets a two count out Showed of it. it up. Bungard now smartly rolling away from his opponent. Trying to cause that separation. But you can see feeling ill effects. Hey, and come now, on. Hey. But you're, you're talking about these barroom brawls and what have you. He doesn't know what to do. I mean, think about it. You beat a guy, he stays down, he leaves the pub. But when that guy just keeps coming back at you, we have to think, what is Aaron Echo going to be willing to do in order to keep Chris Bungard down? Well, anything by the looks of it, actually biting the man's head, his skull here. Basically, what you're saying is Aaron Echo's screwed. He's, he's, eventually, he's going to be done. Well, I hate to say it, but right now, Aaron Echo on top Cranking of this on match. That arm. You see pain, a rare show of pain etched across the face of the bad guy. And he swept straight oh. to the ropes. Oh, and there's a clothesline. Another big lariat answering with that, now staring over here at the commentary desk into the eyes of Rudo. And now Echo just becomes unhinged. When he smells blood, when he oh. senses the opportunity to dish out more punishment. One, two. You'll always Thomas, take that it. Thomas, that was a one. That was a one. Aaron Echo just having his way right now with Chris Bungard, oh. who fights back as best he can. More punches right to the midsection. Come on, Bungard. Swinging with them. Knee right to the midsection again. Here comes Chris Bungard. Oh, oh got cut off. A kick right to the midsection of Bungard, who's down again, but tries to grab that oh, leg. Trying to go for a double leg takedown. That's the last thing Aaron Echo wants. Aaron Echo just has to keep clubbing oh, away. Look at him cranking on the neck. Almost twisting the man's head clean off Using his shoulders. Using the knee as a pivot point to the side. You can see the bruises, the welts all over the body of Chris Bungard because Echo has been hitting so hard and so often. And now trying to stretch Bungard out. Of course he's saying no. Look at it. Has both those arms. But Bungard rolling through, releases the pressure. All right, he's coming in tight, trying to get. Oh, nails it with a wicked elbow, though. Puts Bungard down. Yeah, Bungard right, went down heavy you. there. Oh, down head first by the looks of it. Thomas, we good? Tr controlling the leg. Referee checking the condition of Bungard. Meanwhile, Aaron Echo is still going to work, but Bungard oh, just keeps that. fighting. His elbows rocking Aaron Echo, so he's got to release the hold. It's what Bungard was born oh. to do. He was a born fighter. He will never, ever stop fighting. Aaron's just taking his time. Methodical approach from Aaron Echo, who has to be enjoying this, let's be honest. Well, when you're coming out here saying you're one of the biggest and the baddest, and it's undeniable in Aaron Echo. Maybe going for a suplex or... Oh, oh, oh. ribs first. Across those ropes. What's that about? And now clubbing away on the back. The head, the neck, the spine. These shots nailing Chris Bungard. Nowhere is safe. Right now for oh. cranking back in that oh. now. Oh god. Oh, and there's a hush over the asylum. I don't know. You might have a word for yourself, you wait a minute, add an echo. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you standing up there for? Does that mean you feel big standing up in the seat? Hey, uh -oh. Thomas! Uh-oh, uh oh This could get out of hand very quickly. Although Aaron Echo, oh, baseball slide. Listen, 
He spent a wee couple of minutes uh, over here, not looking at Chris there, right? I know what I'm doing, okay? Job done, job done. I'm just glad he didn't come over here. Oh, he just sat. I, 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 don't worry about that, Jamie. I'd have had that sorted. Don't worry. I'd have been out of here. You wouldn't have seen me for dust. This man terrifies me. In fact, both these men do, but right now, I had an echo on top of this, this match. Oh! oh. Now with the ankle, the side of the knee as well, just really hammering down on that leg. That's been a systematic approach from Aaron Echo. But Aaron Echo is letting himself be distracted. He's taking too long. Look how ginger. There you go once again grabbing that knee. How ginger Bungard is on, on his own legs. He's not ginger, is he? Now wrenches the arm. Oh, what's this from Echo? Oh, we've seen this before. Oh, here it goes. It this only ends one just... way. This Pomba and Okiri lock it in, grabbing the arm. Bongar trying to though, fight he's it. He's got the leg through. He's Puts the brakes on. Wait a minute. Takes him down. Wait a no way. To the blink of an eye. Listen, the just blink like of that. An eye. It always comes. No way. Aaron Echo in real trouble now. What are you going to do now, eh? Might have to tap out. How many drunkards have had you in an ankle lock? Oh, God. I'm not sure hey, Echo's go. ever felt anything like this before. Managed to rock in a kick there to the ribs. He's been working on all match, but showing you that Bongar is still in this. Coming oh, up, using come. those educated fists. Look at that. There's no answer from Aaron Echo. Something Sw extra behind those strikes. Swiss oh. smile. Franks the back, the neck of Aaron Echo, who's and worse for wear right now. All right, so we got to wonder. We can Bongard? Does he have enough to follow up? That's the that's the question. Oh, oh. he waited. He oh. waited. Oh. There we go. There's Takes my him answer. Down with a spear, almost one, a dive. One, two. two. Oh, no. Aaron Echo survives. Manages to get out of it. And this match rages on. Somehow, how much do these men have left? Ground and pound, do him. Knock him out. There we go. As you were Hammer saying, down. as you were saying, Rudo, a little bit of a technical difference between the ground and pound of Echo oh, and Bongard. Yep. Now he's oh. oh. Back and forth oh, they go. Just clubbing blows. Aaron using that slight height advantage. Going right back to the face. Use any shortcut open to him, but now... Cranking down in that arm again. Oh, puts the brakes Bungard on. Bungard caught him. Right in the face. Kick right to the face That's of Aaron right. Echo. Kick there, popped him right in the jaw. Down he goes. Big gentleman coming, here we go. Oh, oh. makes him look effortless. Oh, and still has that clutch around the waist. That's it, he's got the... He's got the hands locked. We might see another one. Oh, wait, wait a minute. And he reverses it. Gets into a variation of a sleeper. Look at the desperation on Aaron's face. Those time's running out. He might pass oh, no it. how big you are. The only place you're going is to Dreamland. Oh, but that's whoa. smart from Echo. Oh, Echo's trying to get whoa, the whoa, whoa, in. Whoa. whoa. Well, we were a split second away there from Chris Bongard's shoulders being counted to the mat. But Bungard had it locked into the melee second as long as he could. What a fight. Unbelievable what fight. A scrap. God only knows how these men dish out this kind of punishment and take it. And oh, keep on there. standing. Echo swinging wild with these punches. Oh, oh Gets him with Jesus. a backbreaker. Down across the knee. The spine of Chris Bungard must be screaming right now. And we're back to a stalemate referee checking with Aaron Echo and Chris Bongard, make sure they can continue. That's how physical this match has been. Nails him with it, getting ready to pop him over one more time. Oh! You hear Wheels the impact. him with it. Come on, Chris. One, one, two, two. Up we come. Pops out right on the again. second slap of the mat. Plenty left in the tank for Chris Bongard. And now smacking the canvas, trying to rally support. Get some adrenaline flowing. Just give up. Listen to that. Aaron Echo with a booming voice. Just Aaron give Echo. up. He's going to regret this. Look at that. He's trying. Bongard still commentary. fighting. Brought him oh, in way too close. Whoa. Let him get way too it. close to triangular shot. Look at this. He's got the arm. Aye, listen, don't stand. Has it trapped? Oh my god, oh six foot four. Call Echo. Aaron Echo. He's done. Echo down to one knee and now down on his side. His six back. foot four, he just let down. He's, He's out. out! He's out! 
He's out! You bicycle. don't stand with him looking Rudy straight in your eye. Taunting him. Thinking you're some sort wow. of big man. You don't stand in front of an MMA fighter giving him a free hit. Incredible scene. Jump stop. Six foot three, made it seem effortless. Locked in the triangular choke and Aaron Echo was done, James. Was done. I can't believe it. it was as Rudo said, it was Aaron Echo went toe to toe, nose to nose with Chris Bongard, but maybe that's the difference. It seemed like a second, it seemed like a set victory, but it shows you the difference. It shows you the difference of the blink of an eye. Unprofessional, Bongard. Billy. Unprofessional. Unprofessional versus professional fighter, as Rudo's put it. But I'll tell you what it is in our main event. We got a night of main events coming up for you here, fans. Bungard versus Echo. A huge win. A huge win. Theo, we'd never crossed paths before. Zero G title match. That was all business. And you beat me. Fair enough, you beat me. But after what you did, trying to injure me with that figure four, well, now we've got a fucking problem. And it's a big fucking problem for you. Because an injured leg, that'll heal. And it'll heal in time for me to get another crack at you. And this time I am going to beat you. And this time I will be a two time zero G champion. There's the name of the left, right? See, next time you will be feel. Just in case you do, I want a shot before that. See, every time I see that guy's face, man, it just makes me. Oh, it just makes me. You know what I mean, bro? Listen, what about if we all get a shot at him before the square go? Why not Sakiba Ali and Dylan Thorne versus Theodoros A and other? Theodoros, get yourself a tag team partner, because these boys are coming after me. Piece of ice in that knee, bro. That's where I've got it. We're going to have a lie to the garage in Glasgow. Well, this oh, right, is a... right, right, and we're just getting our, our first look here. Well, this is going to be a dangerous situation, no doubt about it. Thomas Cairns has legged it down there along Where is with Kez Evans. Both these men have put one another through hell physically. Craig Anthony somewhere in the building. Kez Evans tried to quit ICW after that loss, but he said, no, 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 no. We're not done yet. Unfinished business well, you, with the natural. You think about this. Kez, there's no title here. There's just two men that hate each other. We remember the battle of the bars. Oh, bars. God. Remember what happened to Craig Anthony's arm. Oh, oh and speak of the devil. And there he is. Wrong behind. Wasting no time this match. We've got a referee here, but trust me, all he's going to do is call the fall. That's his job. These two can kill each other. And we know what Evans is keeping of all, James. Well, I just hope we don't need to call another ambulance because the distress of Craig Anthony when his arm was broken, shattered into pieces by that man, Kez Evans. And that's it, we don't even know how Craig Anthony's made this happen, moving and shaking, he headed down there. We send in Mark Dallas, send in a camera crew. We'll call this on ad hoc as best we can. Well, it's not gonna end well for one or both of these men. Look at his wicked knees. And that's it, it's not about getting a pinfall, it's not about getting a submission. This is about beat, this is about respect. You remember, Kez Evans tried to take food off Craig Anthony's table. Yeah, and put him on the shelf for an entire yeah. year. More than once as well, remember it, fear and loathing actually threw yeah. Craig Anthony off the balcony. Oh, right to the DJ booth. 
Oh, and Kez Evans now just being tortured by the natural. natural. Oh, he's trying to, trying to cave in his Adam's apple, pushing it. Well, these men just have taken it too far. Time and time you, again. You remember what he both done? Shots fired on both sides. You're the maniacal, evil Kez Evans. You remember when he waited? When he waited to just that. Craig Anthony had won the ICW TNG title and he went to eye, ripped it from his grasp. Choking Kez Evans or trying to, but the former champion fights back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. First bad landing that Craig Anthony's had, courtesy of the dastardly one. Well, Anthony wasn't wasting any time though, got that sneak attack, but now the tables have been turned and this is trouble. This is where arms are broken. This is when people are choked out. Well, we this is when careers could be ended right here. The howls of pain from Craig Anthony will live with me forever. Anthony might, at this point, all he can do is survive. Try and survive. Kez Evans now choking the life. From Anthony, you can hear him coughing, spluttering, oh, 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 oh. struggling to breathe, and, and that's what Kez Evans does, he suffocates his opponents. Look at the almost, the glee from Kez Evans, enjoying every second after being haunted, stopped by Craig Anthony, to return to ICW. Oh, and this, this is not going to end well. Oh, look at this. Kez Evans now just barking out orders to the referee. Oh, he would love nothing more because it mean not only did he break him physically, but he broke his spirit. And you know, at times that's been all Craig Anthony's had left, James. Well, Kez Evans wants Anthony to say those magic words. He wants him to quit. Here comes Anthony though. Face first to the hard concrete wall. We're getting into the bowels of the garage in Glasgow. God only really knows where these men will go next. And again, fans, everything, everything is to be considered a weapon. And everything's legal, if that's even the, the correct word in a situation as dangerous as this. Oh, if, if you did this without the confines of a pro wrestling company, you'd be put away for a lifetime. Now it's Kez Evans struggling to breathe. Evans into oh. that top rope, big punch once again across the chest, across the face. Oh. What the hell is that? Oh. Can't even tell. But it's like an umbrella the back out to the streets of Glasgow. Well, Evans will use anything at his disposal. We've seen that with our own eyes. The backstage area, that's where they're bringing fans not only for ICW event. What's this now? Is that a glass light tube? Anthony manages to escape, refusing to quit here. In that moment, just blasting him with a low blow. No, knows this is the ultimate chance for revenge. Down across the back. You hear that cry of agony. Trying to carve chunks out of the flesh of the former world champion. Yeah, Evans just falls into a heap. His body, metal. his body almost just given away with exhaustion. And that's it, you've got to bear in mind, Jane. This ain't some 20 minute time limit set by Theodorus. This is going to go until one of these men simply cannot continue or quits. I think what you'd have to do to Chris Evans to make him quit. And by that token, what you'd have to do to Craig Anthony. What the hell? Bad landing for the natural. Oh, referee asking again. Almost makes it worse. Right now, here in Glasgow, it's like minus two, those hard boards. Anthony felt a bit of it. He has more punishment coming his way. Yeah, that case, Evans go come and get me. He's going to make Craig Anthony sing for his supper. Come on. Evans. Where the hell is trying to lure Craig Anthony? Look at that. A look on Craig Anthony's face. Craig Anthony just like a demon. Will not be denied. Craig Anthony's getting battered. Ask him! Do you quit, Anthony? Craig Anthony says no. Do you quit? No. Say no. 
Oh, really? How far is this going to go? I don't like the fact that up high, just for a second, I thought we were going to see flashes of Fear and Morgan again. We still oh. might. God only knows what Kez Evans has in store. And back into the venue, we're up one level. It sounded like he carved into the eyeball of Craig Anthony. Oh, shades of the Batman's there. With the, with the anguish, the torture and pain that Craig Anthony's body was put through. James, you said it, those screams have stayed with me. And it's Whoa. almost like we're back there again. His head takes a tumble down a staircase. Literally nothing about this brawl has to feel good for either man, and there's no escape. Well, we didn't think we were going to see any drop toe holds or side headlocks. Oh. Oh, Anthony with something wicked in mind. Popped him. Because Evans might not even be conscious enough to see I quit. Evans went limp. Evans went limp. He was trying to choke him out, but that's still... You're watching ICW Fight Club. We always knew it would end like this. We always knew it would be this ugly. We're being live from the location of fear and loathing. A big pay per view benchmark showcase events we have here on ICW. The square goal is going to be coming from there in a matter of weeks. Well, there's a lot of loathing going on right now. But there's no one in the building. There's no security. There's no fans. There's two men. I don't even think hate is a strong enough word. Craig Anthony will not quit. And that's what they're going to need to do, James. They're going to need to go beyond that part, point of hatred just to get to where you need to be to put another man down definitively. I think what these two men have put one another through they go well, well over a year now. Once again, Evan screaming, ask him. Beating someone to the point that they just can't continue. There you hear it, referee Thomas Kerrins confirming that the natural said no, he will not quit. Oh, wait a minute. Literally dragging Kez Evans. Listen, he's trying to drown him. Evans might be blind at this point, might not know what's coming next. Oh, nails him! He'd have felt big, it. That big loaded forearm. Oh, Evans isn't moving. Say no! He's out! Say no! Still won't Stay quit of instinct almost. I don't know if Evans has any clue where he is. Yeah. Wait a minute! Ah, He's got the arm! Here's Evans will do whatever it takes. He grabbed the arm and just grinded it right into his face. No depth is too low to sink to. I'm sorry, it just makes me uneasy because I I've gotta watch that man right there terrorize physically an entire roster. The only person that ever truly stood up to him was that man right there. But I know what he's capable of and I know what he's done to him before. He's fucking crawling! Craig Anthony's crawling. body will never be the same again thanks to Kez Evans. Fuck him. Evans now mocking the fact that Anthony crawling away yeah. from him. Oh! oh. Uh, desperation oh. kicking that door back in his head. Yeah. Anthony's already back in his feet, lured in the former champion. Oh. Anthony could barely even stand on his own two feet at this point. Uh, and what, uh, what is this now? I think he's going to use that rope, that yeah. rope like a whip. Down across the back. They are heavy, James. They are heavy. That could break your back. The force of one of those. The spine, the neck of the natural. You use that word, Billy. So much hatred between these two men. I don't even know if it's an appropriate enough word. It's just nemesis. That's all I can think of is when I hear these two nemesis. Might not even be a strong enough word. Back and forth they go, somehow still trading punches. It was making me a little nervous that they're battling at the top of those stairs. Look at this, back and forth, back and forth, trying to keep each other's jaws in. Of course, Evans goes straight to the eyes. Oh, and look out. They need to be careful, those stairs just lead down to Sucky Hall Street. That is a long fall. 
I would think that Kez Evans would think uh, twice about throwing Craig Anthony down that flight of steps. You can see the names of all the bands, all the performers that have performed on that stage. Ocean Coliseum to Prince to ICW, but trust me, they've never seen a battle like this. For all the fights, I'm sure there's been in a busy night, James. Yeah, nothing like this. Nothing even really close. Is Evans taking Craig Anthony on a tour of the garage? I don't think there's enough bouncers in the UK that could pull these two apart. Oh, look at this, still, still inviting them on. Craig Anthony wants more. For nearly an entire year, Craig Anthony had a set and watch ICW. And let that engage and eat away at him. Yeah, not only had to contend with the broken arm, but mentally. Who knows what state Craig Anthony was in, but well, she says no, again. Unbelievable. Here comes Anthony again. It seems like every time he's made to say no, he's made to stand up to it, it just gives him more fire. Anthony just punching, literally punching the skull. Kez Evans and Rams have face first. Trying to rattle the soul of whatever Kez Evans has. Grinding away, trying to rip his jaw, rip his face. He's got his eyeballs out with a look of it almost. Where will these two go next? I dread to ask that question. Now it's Kez Evans scampering away. And that's the thing, in these moments, James, there can be no doubt in your mind. It's all about survival. You're trying to put someone down. But that low blow always finds a way, doesn't he? Yeah. That low blow might have done it. What was that I was saying about low depth? That guttural wretch almost from Craig Anthony. What the hell's he doing? Sick here. Is that tough? Oh, oh, the referee, got to stop him. Referee, can't let him do that. Referee. Kez Evans is going to restrain this is Craig Anthony. I know this is anything goes. I know this is anything goes. He's going to tape him. He's going to hog tie him. Oh, Craig Anthony won't be able to defend himself. Really. Then Kez Evans can have his wicked way. Do no, whatever no, he no, wants. No, 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 no. No escape now for the natural. I'm a real fucking man! Did you hear that? Even with his arms taped behind his back, he would scream never. Oh, the humanity inside me is imploring Craig Anthony just to quit here because Craig Anthony's laughing. Kez Evans, as he always does, is about to go too far. Even with his arms too behind his back, he might not be winning the physical battle, but he might be winning the battle in his head. Oh, and dragging him through to that. Through to that hall, and Kez Evans pointing to that balcony. He threw Craig Anthony off on. The very location. ICW fear and loathing came from. 700 fans packed into that room. All screaming, hoping for a new ICW World Heavyweight Champion. They got one. But we knew the battle between these two would take center stage. But I never thought it would come to this point. Kez Evans thinks it he spat at Kez Evans and it's, just, it's like I said, it's as if Craig Anthony's just occupying space in the champion's head. Oh, no, 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 no. Referee, referee. There's no ropes to break. Billy, I just wonder how much more of this Craig Anthony can be expected to take. And I have to say, I also wonder, he was dangerous before, but with nothing left to lose, just how dangerous will Kez Evans be now? But there's, there's something off it. It's almost as if Evans thinks he should have put down Craig Anthony. He did it once before. Why is it not happening? He still might. Stay tuned. Oh, there's just so much fight, so much hatred, so much defiance in the match. What the hell? Here comes Craig Anthony. 
Look at right hands. I don't know what happened. He cut the tape on that battle. Whatever he did, the natural is now free and ready to fight. Managed to get those hands free, as you're saying. Says Evans now down on the floor of the garage. Where the hell is the natural going? Going up to that stage. Is this even a conscious decision? Or Anthony up on that stage. That rise up for a drum kit. Whoa! Oh. Putting his own body on the line, but that foot came down right between the eyes. Oh, that had to feel good for Craig Anthony. But Kez Evans still refuses to quit. Sheer brutality. He's still saying no. Oh. Just will not stay down. Oh. Will not quit. Is it, oh, is it going to take? It? Well, these two are doing to each other. Is it even worth it, James? Well, they'll never be the same again. I know that much. Couldn't be settled in a ring. Couldn't be settled in a cage. Well, we didn't need pinfalls and submissions. All we needed. For one man to say I quit. Let him take over Glasgow's premier venue and every inch of it being used as a weapon. Look at this head. He's been smashed into that metal barrier. There's, listen, that's vinyl and then a steel bar. Say no. Say no. Oh, he says no. Somehow still conscious enough to answer. Two fighters. I mean, you've got to, the drive, you've got to expect the toughness of both men, undoubtedly, but. I remember. You hear it, Craig yeah, Anthony yeah. saying, I remember when you remember the of that balcony of fear and loathing. He remembers every moment. Don't tell me it's going to be an eye for an eye. He remembers the attack when we had no fans in the arena. How ironic for what we're looking now. And he was the only person that would stand up to Kez Evans who was terrorising the Zero G division. He remembers Kez Evans ripping the ICW Zero G title from his grasp. He remembers being mocked from the other side of the planet. He remembers having his arm broken, his career over. Well, I don't like where these two men are going, Billy. And he remembers a fear and loathing. But Kez Evans, you threw him off that balcony like a frisbee. Back Intent on death. Now. Intent on death, James, that's what that was. There's the, cha the former champion physically Anthony. imposing as well. Howling with pain, but still says no. And I, have to, I don't like this one. It makes me very uneasy how high they all oh, no. no, 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 no. Again. There's no fans. No! A little blow. Oh, no. Face first. I watched that hard wooden leg shake with just a force. Right back to the eyes. Yeah. Evans, Evans. Whoa, oh, what? Whoa. Oh, just threw him over yeah, into the corner. I thought he was straight over. I have to see our hearts with our mouths right about there, but Craig Anthony now on, on that balcony, I up think, on that ledge. Evans got lucky. Sure, he doesn't feel lucky. No, not at all. But that's the very spot, the very spot they're standing in right there. And Kez Evans through Craig Anthony. What's next? What is next between these two? How much more violence can they take? All we know is that's as high as they can go in this building, James. They're up there on the balcony above the garage. Evans Look at the, the exhaustion. There's Craig Anthony hey. behind the bar. And you, and you could see, your missus? You could see two words. There's your missus. The fuck did you say? And then we'll get to the final back. Shit! No! Evans never misses the chance to make it personal. Still playing the mind games. As if this could be any more personal at this point. Oh! 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 Oh!
Ties out his hands to quit at this stage, surely. He's breaking his arm. He's breaking his shoulder. Wouldn't that be poetic? Say no. Still saying no. Listen to... Should be thankful he's not a heavy... Chain. Yeah, you your fight, pal. Yeah, you fight. Chain in the hands of Anthony. is trying to take it. Obviously, you made your point. There's no turning back now. Kez Evans can beg all he wants. He can plead. There's no turning back. you got to read what you saw. What goes around comes around. Look at this. He's trying to choke out. He's trying to kill Kez Evans. He's quit. He's quit. He's quit. He's quit! He's quit! Yes, Evans had to! Evans had to! It's over! Oh my god! It's over! It's over! Two years! Stand up! finally got revenge on oh, oh, Kez Evans, but... It's not done, please. It's not done. It's not done. It's not done. It's not done. It does take a year from your career, Chris. No, that is done. That's what it's fucking done. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. We've got to get medics up there. With that steel chain. But you think about it every waking moment, every single waking moment, every breath has been about Kez Evans and his hatred and his revenge. A steel chain wrapped around that surgically repaired arm. Craig Anthony got his revenge, but at what cost? At what cost indeed? That is the million dollars. Fans, I'm, I'm told they've got a medical team medic. racing to the, the garage in Glasgow right now. Evans is not moving. He hasn't moved one bit since he took that steel chain right to the back of his skull. Big Anthony's done it. <laughs> 